Wellness is a team of innovators named Paritosh Anand and Chitranshi who have come up with an innovative solution in the form of 100% biodegradable menstrual management products to create sustainable menstrual health. Dear friends, welcome to another edition of Change Makers. We all understand the importance of menstrual health for women and adults and girls which includes access to water, sanitation, hygiene facilities and affordable menstrual hygiene products. While access to safe and affordable sanitary material is crucial for reducing the risk of infections, the disposal of sanitary pads has become an environmental concern due to their non-biodegradable plastic content. Today, we have the privilege of introducing innovators who have developed sanitary solutions that address these challenges. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to Paritosh and Chitran Shi. Their innovative creations not only provide a safe and affordable options, but are also biodegradable, minimizing the environmental impact. Let's hear more about their remarkable work and impact on women's lives. Welcome Paritosh Anand and Chitran Shi Baranwal. Please introduce yourself and tell us brief about your innovation. Hello everyone, I am Chitranshi Baranwal, co-founder of Ginny Pads. Uh, I am also a, a microbiologist and an author of Applied Microbiology book. Uh, it's a book about, uh, for mainly for BSc nursing students and uh, uh, taught in various government organizations. And uh, uh, I have also next book in lined up which will be published in December this year. It's about genetics and pathology. Uh, moreover, I am also uh, I also have five years of experience with uh, uh, different marketing consultancies. Hello everyone, my name is Paditosh Anand and I am the co-founder of Zini Pads. Here we create sustainable menstrual health through our biodegradable products and services and reaching the unreached and educating and spreading the awareness to the tribals and underprivileged. Prior to this, uh, I have 10 years of work experience in different uh, industries like agribusiness, enology and education. I am also the Peace Ambassador at World Peace Tract Sweden from India. Thank you. Yeah, it's very impressive. Both are knowledgeable and have experience in the product you are working on. Uh, what problem are you addressing through your innovation? Please elaborate on, on that. So we have started our primary research in 2020. And what we found that three major problems are there in this industry. The first one is affordability, second one is accessibility, and third one is the awareness. And about the pads, about the menstruation, about the periods, and which kind of pads are available commercially in the market. So we are bringing in a, a solution which is not only affordable, but also truly biodegradable. The products are, and we are offering the service which is unique and we are trying to tap those markets. We are trying to help those people in the society who are actually on this right now. We are going to the tribals. We are going to the underprivileged and make them understand. We are going to, to the orphanages. We are going to the jails and make them understand about what sustainable, sustainable menstrual health is all about. Uh, what was your source of motivation for making this product and where did it all start? Uh, personally, I have been in contact with a lot of women who have no or very less idea about menstruation. For them, period is just uh, uh, five days of menstruation, like having cramps and bleeding, that's it. Uh, for me, menstruation is just not about bleeding. I believe that we have to take care of ourselves because uh, uh, menstruation also affects our mental health and physical health as well. And uh, furthermore, personally, I have been uh, gone through a lot of problems like rashes and infections. And when I researched about it, I got to know they are just because of the pads I have been using, which was uh, plastic based and had toxins in it. So uh, thoroughly, I thought to create a, a biodegradable, truly biodegradable sanitary napkins, which will be made of uh, 
any ingredient which is uh, procured from the nature and it will uh, not only uh, help for the environment but also helpful for my skin as well yeah. really it is like well spoken about the problem you have faced it this question is specifically for paritosh how did you get an idea of working on something like uh, this which is very women centric was it just a business idea for you or you have some story attached to it uh, i would like to extend the answer of chitransi uh, when i was working with uh, in, a, in agriculture i have seen three women of the same family using the same cloth not even cloth pad for their menstrual management and that was like a kick for me and that time I, i thought can i contribute in this segment in this industry why they have to do this and if even if you are using the cloth pad reusable cloth pad pads are available in in the market today so if you are using it it must have been truly sun dried after the use and in villages i have seen they are not even sun drying it they are drying under the clothes bigger clothes so again it is of no use so that was one incident which brought me in this industry because prior to this i had no idea about what sanitary pad is i have not touched a single sanitary pad before that so it is not just the business idea of course we are now developing a different plans different reach out plans how to affect the life how to impact the life of rural women and uh, girls of course but that time it was not a business idea when we have started it we have started in a to help the society and we are doing it as of now yeah great paritosh you are trying to upgrade the uh, hygiene level uh, for the rural and uh, tribal area people so now my next question is uh, for chitranshi please tell us how has the response been so far from women who have used your product uh during our early phases uh, we did try a lot of prototypes and uh, we did receive a lot of negative feedbacks and criticisms but our team positively took it and we tried to uh, focus on each fee- uh, feedback and uh, um, try to make every product better day by day our main concern is always to minimize the issues that a female is experiencing during her uh, menstruation and i am happy to say that our genie pad is expanding and minimizing all the feedbacks with amazing feedbacks again and our products also allow our uh, uh, customers to experience the odorless comfortable and rashes free infection free experience and uh, uh, it's a good news for us is that uh, we have recently launched our 100% bamboo fiber pads and it's receiving good feedbacks and we got patent of it as well great uh, chitanshi congratulations it's good to know that you have upgraded your product by uh, negative feedback and you are encouraged by the positive feedback from users now congratulations and uh, paritosh can you tell me the challenges in this journey and how you overcame those challenges the first challenges in this journey being a man i faced personally getting a tag of pervert if you go and ask to a person that which pad you are using or are you a pad user or tampon user or cup user people are not still ready to talk about it we are encouraging girls to talk about periods to their father to their brother so the first point we have we felt that communication is not synchronized end to end second challenge is the customers have accepted that rashes are the by products of the menstruation it is not we are here to break that myth that why rashes happens every customer we have met yet every girl we have met yet and discussed pe- about periods and she told she has faced rashes so our question to her every time that why and she was not knowing so we tried to make them understand why it happens and how it can be controlled so communication second is a challenge second challenge we have faced that people are not ready to specifically in rural area what we have seen people are not even try to try pads they are not giving it a try 
they are if they are happy with the clothes they are happy with the clothes so we are also breaking the mentality we are also bringing them on a scientifically scientific way of menstruation management not the traditional one so these are a few challenges which we faced you have faced a lot of challenges and uh, it's good to know that you have overcome the challenge and you have released the product as well. Uh, recently, we have seen many similar innovations when it comes to menstrual hygiene. So, Pratosh, I would like to know this from you, that how is your innovation is unique from all the others? True, very true. A lot of startups are coming in this industry. But if you look at the statistics, you will find right now around 355 million women and girls are menstruating in India right now when we are talking about it. So, and out of 355 million women, only 42% have access to any kind of menstrual management products, any kind, set cups, discs, tampons, pads, whatever. We still have a full gap of 60, 58 to 60% who have not access to this. So if I, I can say if any 500 startups comes forward, we are not able to suffice the demand. And in 355 million women, 42% who are using the pads, they are out of that 99% women are using plastic pads. So can you just imagine the mountain of the used pads? We differentiate ourselves on many points. First point is, we, we are not just saying that we are biodegradable. We got patent for it. So we are truly biodegradable pads. Second, we are affordable. We are making biodegradable pads more cheaper than the plastic pads. Every pad you see right now in the market contains plastic equivalent to at least four to five plastic container that Kranavala Bhaiya gives you. Consider the amount of dioxin you are using for a straight five days of 30 years of your life. So we are differentiating on that part. Of course, price point is need to be considered, but I don't want to play on that. But we are trying to keep it as low as possible. And we are going extra mile. How? We are adopting villages. We are adopting schools. We go there with, the, with our gynecologist. We counsel the girls who are in the minarch, who are 13, 14, or who are just will having the periods, 10 to 12, 14 years, old age girls. So we are trying to tap that market also. We are not only in urban sector. Plus we are providing 100% customization. But like in five days of periods, every day you need a different kind of pad depending upon the flow of the blood. So what we are telling that go to our website, make your own product. Of course, Chitlansi will talk about it more, but just I'm giving you the hint and you can make your own menstrual kit and you, you can then subscribe it. So again, it will be, will be wallet friendly. Like if you go uh, to shop and say, I need two pads of double XL, they will not give you. I am giving you and taking the charge of two pads only. So we are giving you the full right that what you need, make your own product with us. Great. Uh, it's very sad to know uh, that like 60% of the women do not have access to hygiene product and you have come up with the biodegradable solution and you are uh, into awareness also, creating awareness. And it's good to know that Pad is uh, truly customizable and by this way it is unique and distinct from other innovations in the market. Uh, Chitranshi, please tell us, how do you ensure that your product meets quality standards? Um, initially, our each batch of pad is uh, gone through rigorous uh, testing of absorbency. Because uh, what I feel, uh, if I would be a, a customer of Pad, I would expect the leakage issue should not be there. So leakage is the main issue with, uh, which we uh, test primarily. Apart from that, the stickiness of the pad uh, and then affects how it feels on the skin. And the most important thing is uh, microbial uh, contamination should not be there. So we thoroughly uh, sterilize it. Moreover, our, each ingredient of the product is NABL tested. 
then uh, our product is manufactured uh, through cold sealing process so uh, i know i'm uh, throwing all the alien uh, terms here so i'll explain what cold sealing uh, process is it's a process that includes um, two types of dyes that uh, helps in uh, sealing and shaping the sanitary pad and uh, it also helps to uh, remove the sharp edges of the pad and make it more comfortable and uh, hygienic for the skin uh, moreover yeah this is we protocols are all followed to make it the uh, high standards of the product and perfect to use yeah chitran it's uh, good to know that you are all committed to maintaining the high quality standards uh, chitran ji please tell us how cost effective and readily available is your product to the end user uh so being a biodegradable pad uh gini pads are very affordable accord in comparison to the other products that are available in the market and claim to be uh, biodegradable because we have to procure all the material from the environment and it does cost us so uh but uh, you know uh, the competitors that claim the per pad is of 23 rupees and uh, what gini pads is providing it ranges from 10 to 15 rupees so it does reduce your cost and uh, as paritosh explained the concept of red kit we are introducing here a uh, customization is offered where uh, you can take any number or any quantity of size of your pad like uh, four pads of uh, night pads then four of uh, uh, large pads that will be used for uh, days and then two panty liners it depends on you what you want then uh, gini pads also doing something different like uh, uh, goodies we have a goodie section for the red kit where you can choose anything uh, like uh, um, uh, disposable bags intimate wipes sanitizer which is a ph friendly for the vaginal area and uh, uh, as i said bleeding uh, menstruation is just not about bleeding it affects your mental and physical health so uh, cramps and uh, mood swings all are catered by these uh, chocolate dark chocolates we are offering then scented candles and uh, biodegradable bookmarks whatever you need in it all the goodies are available here and whatever item you choose for yourself you have to just pay for them you don't have to pay for the whole packet of a, a pad that available is in the market so and um, as the reachability how they can reach to us so uh, we are available on uh, the website Our, we have ginipads.in that's our website we are available on all the e-commerce sites apart from that we have a community gini community we are, are available on instagram facebook linkedin also so uh, they anyone can reach out to us they can dm us on the social networking sites or uh, directly contact on the website as well so easily they can contact us it's uh, interesting it is cost effective and also easily accessible for the end users and you have good marketing uh, strategy to uh, give out the other products as well uh, paritosh have you received support from other sources as well uh, financial or any other support can you please elaborate yes uh, we are incubated at sri sri university in odisha and under their mental safe we can say we have been able to raise funds from startup india we have been able to raise funds from nrdc national research and development corporation they are helping us out in terms of funding i am telling you first and we are also in the talks with various angel investors for the funding part second is mentorship part so we have various mentors who are working on state level or country level various mentors of us are international level work, work working there a uh, few seniors from i am hudabad ceo of sri sri university they all are our mentors plus uh, i have also went to i am hudabad so that one year helped me to understand myself on a better level to understand my startup my business on a better level the main point the main purpose going to i am ahmedabad was the challenges i was facing earlier should not be there and it is rightly fulfilled so i am thankful to everyone our mentors our funders our my i am professors for embarking me on on this journey for imparting their knowledge and providing the handhold support we needed 
it really impressed by the support received from various uh, sources as well as the mentoring support you received from your uh, uh, faculty members and other others so if you have to give a uh, one piece of advice to the youngsters who are thinking of starting a venture what would that be uh, paritosh uh, i would just give one piece of advice that focus on the product or services you are making is actually solving its purpose or not like in our industry if i will give you or even anyone anyone will give you a pad and tell you to use it and if it will leak will you use it another time no no matter who is giving you so solving the purpose is the main issue right now what happens in this startup ecosystem rather than focusing on creating a hype on social media and everything and light focusing on creating the best product will help any startup to get into the market and focusing on the right need of the customer is the key i guess creating the product which solves its purpose is the main thing so if anyone is coming into this industry or any any industry or making an app or doing anything is it solving the actual problem of the sol of the customers or not Oh, that's uh, that's great, uh, Paritosh. You are saying that just don't create the product and create the product which solves customers' problem. Very inspiring and wise advice for young entrepreneurs. Chitranshi, what plans do you have for the future of the business? Uh, as of now, we are only focusing on the on creating sustainable menstrual health, through which we are trying to reach the unreached women, which are the rural women. and the youngsters young generation which are, which have just started bleeding so uh, you know they are the minarchs and they need guidance regarding their health and hygiene of course so uh, we are trying to reach them guide them and educate them through our education and awareness campaigns because you know it's better to know about your body before and uh, instead of believing on myths and having doubts so uh, we are also trying to reach uh, at least uh, 5 million women in next 5 years and targeting and aiming for like 25% of uh, women in next 5 years and great it's really excited to know about your future plan and you are focusing on creating the awareness first that's really interesting uh, do you have a vision for the betterment of our country through this innovation of yours paritosh yes so uh, just few days back i was reading a report of morgan stanley and uh, it was uh, the report on uh, how india changes in past 10 years so uh, time is changing we as a society is evolving every day we are becoming a smart as a society even as an individual even at gini pads we are working on a sensitive issue which is being generally ignored so we we focus on we envision an india where each of the women takes care of her menstrual wealth health more diligently and talk about it more openly within their family friends and surroundings we envision an india a taboo free society and for that we are working towards it we are working to make it happen you both are sincerely appreciated for being a visionary and demonstrating unwavering dedication towards making a positive impact in the country we are also very thankful to aict innovation cell we we met uh, a representative of aict innovation cell at g20 and from there we got, we got the mentorship and in their mentorship we also attended national technology week event under aict pavilion and we are very very much thankful to aict innovation cell dipan sahu sir vishnu ranjan sir everyone shivani and uh, the whole team the whole production team you ma'am for giving us the chance to showcase our products our ideas to the people and to helping us uh, to reach uh, the objective we have in the mind so in behalf of jini family i would like to thank you so much thank you paritosh thank you everyone for bringing us till here and supporting us for this thank you the team thank you chitranshi thank you both of you for joining with us
so that's all we have in this edition but we will be back with some more insightful discussions on many such breakthrough innovations in the coming episodes till then keep watching for the space thank you